Well, hello everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And this is our Sunday episode, but there are a lot of episodes that will be following us. Yes. Um, we've got Gina DeLuca going right after us at 9.30 Pacific. And then after that, I believe the After Fab collab starts. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a ton of people painting this weekend. There's a ton of people painting next weekend. And it's all people pouring in honor of the FAB, people kind of re recreating pours that they learnt from the gals. Oh, nice. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of fun pours for you today. But back to us, because that's what you're here for. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to do a couple of things that we've not done for a while. Yeah. Um, show Penny, what are you going to do? I'm going to be doing a marbling technique. You're going to be doing the marbling technique? A marbling technique. All right, and I haven't done an open cup for the longest time, so I'm going to tackle one of those big bad nice. boys. Maybe actually two of them on this canvas. Oh, nice. Mm, we'll see. Mm. So, um, let's not waffle. Yeah. Let's just get to it. Let's get to it. Yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking and subscribing. We're going to get to the table and get pen for you all. Well, hello there, ladles and jelly spoons. <laughs> I'm excited about this one. Show Pony, I'm excited. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you're normally always the one that's excited. So what are we going to do today? Well, we're both going to do pause that we haven't done for a very, very long time. Yes. And I'm definitely going to play around with this one. I'm going into this with no expectations. Mm. One of my biggest kind of problems as an artist is going into each and every pour with like an end result in mind and then getting disappointed when I don't get what I want. Well, I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to play around with the paints and see what happens. Why have we got a little bare brick on the table? Well, I'm putting this here to show you that every time we pour now, at least for the next few weeks, we're going to be using our leftover paints and pouring over these little bad boys, bare bricks here. Um, if you saw an episode of ours very recently, we poured over these on the channel. We did. And they're super fun. And we'll be taking these to the Fluid Art Experience and we'll be selling them there. So you'll be able to pick up these little cute bare bricks that their arms move and we'll paint over them and we'll varnish them, we'll spray varnish them. And um, you'll be able to get your hands on those at the FAE, which is July the 21st to the 23rd. Yes. All right, so what am I doing? Well, as I said, I'm doing something that I haven't done in a while and it's gonna be an open cup. Mm. Show Pony doesn't even know what I'm doing today. I don't. I sprung that one on you, sir. I'm gonna <laughs> open do. cup this bad boy. Nice. This is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Yes. Show Pony has done his job and he's backed it and pinned it for me. All lovely. Um, I don't think you sprayed this one, sir. Doesn't mm. feel very sprayed. So let me show you what we do. Um, Pinned and backed, as I just said, taking a little spray bottle of water, I'm going to spray the back of this canvas. Might need some more water in my little spray pot. But this is perfect for now. And what this is going to do, as it sits and it dries, is actually tighten up the canvas that's been stretched over these four pieces of wood. So the composition isn't going to pool in the middle. It's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be tight like a drum. Tight like drum. Tight like drum. All right, show pony. So um, let me show you my colors that I'm gonna to use today. These are very much inspired by a pour that you did recently when you picked them. They're very earthy colors. Mm. And I definitely took, kind of, I have taken inspiration in the past from my open cups from people like Olga Solby and Sarah Mack, because they do stunning ones. In fact, we did a huge open cup with Sarah. Do you yeah. remember when we did that massive, oh, yeah. that massive canvas? And in fact, it was actually Sarah's open cup was the very first acrylic pour I ever saw. But this is Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. I really like that color. I know you do. I've got Turquoise Green by Amsterdam. Love that color too. I have Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. Love that you color You see too. the greens and the blues here. Mm -hmm. I've got Jadeite. 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 J-D-E-I-T-E. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jadeite. Jadeite. That one. Thank you. And this is, sorry, this is Deco Art um, Extreme Sheen Loveliness. And then I've also got Worn Penny, a Deco Art Metallics, which is just lovely too. Yeah, that Worn Penny is really pretty. Then I recreated a colour that we keep using here, and it's actually Payne's Grey mixed with Phalo Blue. Mm -hmm. This time it's the Phalo Blue Green shade, and this gives me this really dark, inky, kind of almost like Bic Pen Blue, Yeah, is what I like to refer to it. So my palette is very greens and blues with that wonderful Worn Penny thrown in there. And... For an open cup, the first thing I'm gonna do is put down a fairly healthy amount of white on the canvas because it's gonna be the white that's gonna allow the paints that I put in my little open cup here to kind of disperse out onto, mm. onto the canvas. Mm -hmm. So Show Pony's also mixed me up some white. Um, this is 
about 25 to 30% acrylic paint. Yes. There's about 50 to 60% of flow troll, yeah. and the rest is just a little squirt of water. Squirt of water. So the consistency you probably won't be able to see, but there's no mound here at all. This is just kind of falling right into itself. And I'm gonna pour a healthy amount on the canvas. Now I'm not gonna cover the whole canvas because as I tilt this one out, I definitely am gonna be able to spread out all of these lovely paints, but I am just gonna get a little healthy amount in my runway that I'm going to be using with this open cup. So just a, a lovely little layer of the acrylic white here. Just to give me something for my paints to slide upon, show pony. Yep. So what is the open cup? Well, literally, this is just a plastic cup that I've chopped the bottom off. Mm. And um, I'm going to be pouring my paints right into this cup. Um, I have two of them, because I might use a couple. Oh, that's thunder it in the is. background. We're gonna have some actual weather here with you today. It's thundering and lightning. It is so humid here in the studio. <laughs> and by studio, you know that we mean garage. That doesn't have AC. So um, yeah, Show Pony and I are spritzing ever so gently. Um, I'm just thinking about where I wanna start this open cup. Um, I think I'm gonna start it right in the middle and I'm probably gonna do a couple of these. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my white first and pour that into the cup and just a little bit around it. I don't necessarily want this to be anchored, but I want enough of the white paint to be able to be around this so that it comes out and yeah. spreads out amongst the canvas. So, show pony, I'm going to start with a little bit of my inky blue. And now the plan is just to pour these colors into the open cup. And as I pour them in here, they're going to start pushing each other out mm. through the bottom of the cup, creating what I expect to be some really beautiful cells. And then as I stretch this out, there'll be some really wonderful colors coming through here as well. You got movement. We're on the move. So I'm going to keep layering, keep pouring, keep putting these colors in. And every now and again, I'm gonna jot in a little dash of the white. So I've got enough paint and enough movement on this side. What I'm now going to do is remove the cup and do another little one over here. So I've got another little cup. Let's put it right there. Mm. Now again, I'm gonna put some white paint in and some white paint around. And let's start layering again.
So I've got two wonderful open cups. There's a fair amount of paint on here, but I want to do something with the negative space. And I'm going to do some lines of colour. So I might lose a lot of the kind of side pieces as I tilt this one out, but we're just going to see what happens. Let's just open this up, tilt it out and see what's underneath. Mm. All right, so you know what time it is. It is tilting time. It is tilting time. Let's tilt this bad boy out. Wowzers McTrousers. All right, so celtastic people. Mm. Crazy, crazy amount of cells. Clearly you can see the worn copper and the jadeite because mm. they're the two things that have selled up the most. But even look at the cells that we're getting with the, this is definitely my indigo mix mm -hmm. and some of the beautiful jadeite here that has kind of created these beautiful big boulder cells. And then we've got the wonderful deep teal here with some of the jade out that's created cells. So yeah, you can absolutely see all the colors represented here. Um, I really enjoy keeping that white negative space. Um, and and I like added the added bams that I did, the bams, the show pony yeah. bams. So I'm happy with this. I mean, you can go into an open cup expecting cells. 
And there you have them, folks. Yeah, I wasn't too sure about that white negative space in the center at first, but it turned out just beautiful. Well, thank you, show pony. I appreciate you. Stunning. Right, well, I'm going to get my edges. I'm going to make sure everything is covered. I think it is. I will torch this off one more time, and I'm going to take you guys in for a close up. So thank you so much. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I'm really excited about today's pour. Mm, what a surprise. Yes, yeah. Um, I haven't done one of these in a really long time. <clears throat> it is the marbling technique, Ooh. not to be mistaken with the marble, right. but this is marbling. And uh, you know what I do is I just layer the cup, I put a little bit of color, and it comes out this really beautiful, and it looks like marble. Like a slab. Like a slab of marble. Travendine, yeah. whatever you call it. Yeah, it's That's beautiful. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you to my colors. This okay. is a, a uh, 16 by 20. A 16 by 20 inch canvas um, that's been taped in back. The colors that I'm using today are this Pearl Pistachio Green by Arteza. I have 24K. This is by um, Deco Arts Metallics Americana. I have uh, Phalo Turquoise by Goldens. I love it. Yeah, this is great. I love Phalo Turquoise. And then we have also, this is by Liquitex Basics, right? Liquitex, this is yeah. the um, Burnt Sienna. Delicious. I thought those colors would look really interesting. It's like very earthy again, kind of similar yeah. to mine, but different. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, yeah. interested. So I'm, I'm really excited about doing this with these colors. Um, let's go ahead and get to layering my cup. So if someone hasn't seen the marble in technique, yes. talk them through this step by step. Yeah, it is, of course. It is a little different. It is a little different. Um, and what makes it different is that you use a lot of white and a little bit of color, okay. like a little bit of color. All right. um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour like pretty much uh, one third of my cup with white paint. Oh, lovely, okay. Yeah, so a nice big, nice big pour. I'd say that's one fourth of uh, white paint. Now I'm just gonna take my stick with some paint on it and I'm just going to drizzle paints into my cup just like that oh my god so yeah. it's like it's literally like i mean it's the tiniest 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 amount of paint. tiniest amount of paint so it's just yeah it's just a little just drizzling it and you want to do that with all of your colors This one's a little thicker, so we gotta. I always find those like umbers and those earth tones always are a little thicker. They are, they are. Now Next. what you wanna do is you wanna take your white paint and you don't wanna pour it from up high to where it pierces that, that layer of drizzled paint. You just wanna just lightly like go over the top of it. So you are sandwiching mm -hmm. that that color now in between some more white. Mm -hmm. Just drizzling it all over. And then you just pour a little bit on top of that. So if, if I were to say that you probably had a fifth of white paint in the bottom, then you've added your color and now you've got another fifth of white paint on the top of that. Exactly. And then you just keep repeating. You just keep repeating. I love it. And now I'm just gonna end it with a little smiley face. <laughs> do, do. 
do? Well, that was kind of a smiley face. That was a Z, it was <laughs> like Zorro. <laughs> That didn't end up like the way I thought about no, it. No, there was no It looks more like though. two eyes and a nose. Okay, Picasso, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so next. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flood my canvas. Okay, so a similar reasoning that I did it, because basically what you're wanting to do is just have these colors slip and slide, right? Yes. Okay, interesting. Exactly. Okay guys, so I have my cup here in my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over to, uh, onto my canvas and let it sit for just a second. Oof. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> that, was, that was a flip. <laughs> There's your smiley face all over the canvas. There is, there is a, that's all over. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a second. Now, I'm not gonna lift this. I'm just gonna lift it up off the canvas and just- So you're just gonna lift it and have all the paint dripping out or are you going to, to lift it to the side? Um, I'm gonna let the paint drip out. Yeah, okay. because some of those drippings it might make really good designs. Okay. Yeah. Do it. All right. Okay, so I'm liking my composition, the design on the canvas, but I think I might do some BAMs. Okay. Um, I'm seeing a lot of that phthalo turquoise, so I'm thinking about doing some of the burnt sienna, like some BAMs through that. Love it. With the okay. burnt sienna. Yeah, so let's see here. BAM. BAM. Oops, not what I wanted to do, but that's okay. I'm just gonna drip a little bit through here. Okay, so I added a few bams to it. We'll see how that happens whenever I stretch this yeah, out. Yeah, I'm so pleased that. you added that brown in there. I think you need yeah, that. But, it, but it will it. change as you stretch this one out, so. Yeah, all right, you know what time it is. Is it 2.41? It's 241. Which is tilting time. <laughs> Which is tilting time. Let's do it. Let's tilt this bad boy out. <laughs> Let's do it. Tilting time. Without 
Wow guys, I'm in love with this. I love how soft it has become. That burnt sienna, like really, I'm so glad that I put that in there. And that phalo turquoise, um, just as I thought, I lost that pearl pistachio. pistachio. Uh -huh. um, lost some of that, but that gold is really, really soft through here. I mean, I see it, but it's really soft. I love it. Yeah. It's really interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm in love with it. It's I'm definitely marble-esque for yes. sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in love with it. I'm going to get my edges, torch it off, and take you guys in for a close-up. Let's do it. So there you have it. There you have it. What did you think, Shogoni? Um, I loved my marbling uh, yeah? pour. Yeah, I mm. thought it was great. Um, I lost the gold in it, though. You, you did. know, yeah, but uh, but I loved how everything else came out. I thought it worked really well. Um, it came out really beautiful. I uh, love them. They're yeah, so soft. It. They're mm. so subtle. They look like slabs of marble. Yeah. Um, I know we've done a couple of commissions of these before because yeah. people do really enjoy them. I love them because they kind of always seem like the start of something right yeah i love them they're really really pretty well done show thank you what about yours well can i just say that the acrylic pouring and fluid art group facebook challenge this week is actually going to be the marbling technique ah. so you can use any colors that you want out there the intention being to get that soft subtle kind of composition and um yeah follow the show ponies instructions all the way through this episode and uh, that's what you're looking to recreate so i'm excited to see what they're going to be nice I really liked my, my open cup. I'll be honest, I don't always love all the cells, but I really like this one. I liked the colors and the kind of the lines of color. I loved how that warm penny and that jadeite totally sell yeah. and then made all the colors sell. Yeah. Um, yeah, this one was really fun. If you are struggling to get cells, guys, all you need to do is an open cup with some deco art paints. <laughs> Pretty much guaranteed yeah. it to be celtastic. Yeah. Um, and I hope you enjoyed mine too. I really liked it. I really liked it. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, um, coming up this Tuesday for us is going to be our episode for the Mina Vallecas collab yes. that we're doing. It's kind of a celebration, actually. And we're going to pour two pieces yes. that are totally inspired by Mina Vallecas. And then she's going to pour on Wednesday on her premiere mm -hmm. a piece that's inspired by us. Thank you for being here. Off to Gina DeLuca now for yes. a wonderful, wonderful pour. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. Please do. And um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you back here on the channel on Tuesday. Yeah. All right, guys, have a great day of pouring fun. Bye, guys. Bye. And now to spank the Patreons. Yes, let's spank the Patreons. Let's do it. Who are the Patreons? Well, the Massey Posse, we like to call them, <laughs> are a group of people that have signed up to patreon.com. And on our Patreonage, you have the opportunity to get levels and perks for different things. Yes. So at one level, you might get a sneak peek behind the scenes video or some footage. At another level, you'll be invited to monthly off the YouTube channel live streams. And at a separate level, you might also get once a month tutorials. Yes. So it's a really fun opportunity for people just to have a completely different view of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. So we have some people to thank. Yes. At our gold level, we have Elizabeth, Gilano, Gillian Kennedy, we have Gloria Salaki and Jane Klein, we have Janice Swansea and Kelly Stowell, we have Kirsten Blackley, we have Linda Seriani, we have Mary Doulas or Mama Doulas, Mama Doulas, Patsy Petrelli and Rebecca Hawes Winters, we have Sharon Luffy and Stephanie Hancock, we've got Tammy Housebrook, we've got Terry Leshner. And we've got Trisha West. Yes. Then in our platinum level, we have Elaine Burton, Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve. We have Susan Chigori, 
And Susan Shepperson. Susan Shepperson. Yes. So thank you so very much to those guys and everyone else that's here down below, our bronze and silver Patreons too. We really yeah. appreciate you. We really appreciate you wanting to be here with us and support us through this wonderful journey of art. Honestly, we really can't thank you enough, so thank you so very much.